Hey everyone, so things get pretty interesting at the end of the Kingdom of Corona as Mother Gothel turns into a Heartless and you've got to battle her. She's a pretty cool boss. She kind of looks a bit like one of the monsters in Monster Hunter World, as you'll see in a little second. Uh, she's pretty challenging, however, managed to take her down. So gonna talk you through the boss fight, the, uh, the, Cor the Kingdom of Corona boss fight. Hopefully it'll help you guys out, and if it does, drop us a like below. Massively appreciated. So, Mother Gothel's Heartless just kind of like hovers around. So you've got to jump up and get right in her face to do some damage. And actually hitting her at this stage in the game is relatively easy, but she does this kind of like headbutt move, so you don't want to spend too long getting in your hits. Now in all fairness, I think I definitely get a lot better at facing her a little bit later on in the game. But this early phase in the fight should show you how to get through a number of her different forms. I say forms, like her little lives. She's got like little bar lives at the bottom underneath her health bar. Uh, so whenever you get a chance to do something like this, it's a good idea, but you can see I'm not doing a great deal of damage because she's actually run away. So it was a bit wasted in that situation. So make sure your time when you use that kind of thing as well as possible. Now, early on, I wasn't too sure how to evade a lot of her moves, uh, but essentially, it's just like any boss, you just want to roll like hell. So get up in her face, do some damage. I've taken two of her health bars away, and she's ran off over there, and it kind of looks like you can just run up to her and hit her again. However, she does this transition to the top of the tower, and things get pretty tough from this stage. Now. It kind of looks like you should easily be able to jump on a cross. However, it's not so easy and you can't jump over these thorns and you get hit by a lot of these bombs. However, what you're looking to do is get out of them as quickly as possible and just keep heading for those little jumps. So now, when you're out here, definitely roll as much as you can to avoid the bombs that are dropping from above. But again, she hits you up with these. Now by this stage I'd kind of learned that it was about quickly getting out of here as quickly as you can and once you get through the first one, backpedal, get back through the last one and then come back through forward and then you can run up the tower to be able to get in some more hits on uh, Mother Gothel's Heartless. So once you get close just start mashing the attack button and she should take a lot of damage at this stage so keep on laying in the hits as much as you can but she will drop from the tower so then you need to drop and figure out where she's gotten to. So she's over here, and when she does that sweeping move, it's a really good idea to roll out of the way. Even if she hits you, if you're rolling, you don't take any damage. So you can see there, just rolling out of the way of all of those, and then I can run on up and get close. However, she fires out these flowers, which send out vines to bring you in. So they're really difficult to get away from, and you can see it's picked me up, dragged me in, and then it's gonna do a huge hit on me. So in this situation, you kind of just gotta take it on the chin. However, you can turn and fight the flowers a little bit if, you, uh, if you're kind of quick enough. And you can see I'm on my last legs and it's all about moving out of the way now. So I'm taking a lot of hits because of that vine that got me. So if you can, try to stay the hell away from them. So you can see there's a whole new section of vines. So I'm just trying to run past them before they can get in and do any damage and get in as close as possible to the Mother Gothel boss because that way you can avoid those vines. You can see the flowers are on the ground there, but if you get too close to them, they will get you. So I'm just trying to get in as many hits as I can on the boss. And you can see when it drops to the ground, you can see when your other guys get taken by the flowers, you can beat up the flowers and try and get them loose. So finally gonna take this one out, I think, to, uh, to free up Goofy there, which will help out later on in the fight. And then it's just a case of avoiding these by rolling if you can, and then getting in close and doing as much damage as you can. It's a tough boss, it's a pretty cool one. I love this fight, it's a hell of a lot of fun. And you can see you've got kind of like sneezing, but I just kind of ignored the sneezing. And you can see that Donald's been taken as well. So just gonna get some hits on this flower to free him up. And then it's firing out the birds. 
So you want to keep on rolling and running to stay out of the way of those. And then get in close to do some hits. So it kind of flew in and I think flew underneath me. But it does seem to have gone back down there now. Oh, managed to take a bit of a bad hit. So again, as soon as you see it coming anywhere near you, you really want to like just roll out of the way. So managing to get the Trinity Shield on the go. And this actually works a lot better than I kind of expected it to. When it landed on the ground, I can start just to like thump it in the face with the shield and did quite a lot of damage at this stage. So it is quite a good one, even though it didn't necessarily look like it was going to right at the beginning. And then you can just get in a load more hits and it's down to just four bars to go. Took a bit of a hit there. Sometimes you've got to take them on the chin and then jump on up and get some more hits in. But you can see that Goofy has been taken by another one of these plants. So again, you can attack these to try to free them up. However, you will be susceptible by the charge hit from, from the boss. So you can spend a little bit of time doing that, but it does mean that that charge hit can really get you. And then you've got these vines that shoot out. Again, you can kind of attack this and I should have probably used the counter shield at this stage or used one of the specials a little bit quicker there and that might have saved me from that little section and taking a bit of a pound in now which is going to take a huge amount of my health away so definitely try and use your uh, your special attacks when those flowers get you because you might be able to like stop them from actually doing that huge huge hit uh, luckily I'm getting in some decent hits now and hovering right above it but these are mainly taking it out on the flowers around. And that is going to benefit me later on because it means they're not going to have as much power. So it's going to be really good. But it looks like she's going back up the tower at some point soon. I know she's just heading down here. So just kind of follow her around. Wait for your moment. Yeah, here she goes. I kind of knew she was going to go to the top of the tower. So again, you've got these big vines that come up. So you jump over, you think you can go forward just turn backwards and that way you can jump back over this one and then you should be able to go back forwards and out again so it's kind of one forward one back one forward and you'll be through do rolls to get through this little section and you can see i'm taking much less damage during this second phase of this than i did in the first one because i know you've got to go forward backwards and forward to get through them and then it's just a case of jumping up the tower running up the tower and taking out your revenge on the boss here in Corona. And so there's two bars to go, doing some good damage up there, just waiting for the specials to kick in to be able to do a little bit more damage. Let's drop down to the ground again. And so you can see, you can actually stay on the top of the tower and have a look around to see where it's gone. If you get a chance to do this, it means you kind of understand how to, uh, how to attack it. And it's firing up the birds now which I'm kind of just waiting for. And then I can drop down on it. Do some more hits. So there's one bar to go. It's taken a lot of damage. I think Goofy and Donald have done me a lot of favors. And then you can just get in close and smash it up. So just one bar to go. It's right on the end of the fight. And this should see me finishing it off with a little bit of lightning. Just charge on around, smash up all the flowers that are in the way. Just need to get close enough. There we go. And that's it. That's the Mother Gothel boss here in Corona, the Kingdom of Corona, done and dusted. Hopefully that helps you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left. And hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of the videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of our series for Kingdom Hearts 3 with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.